Hey guys, Kiki here. Well, uh, recently there was a sorry about that. So recently there was an update to YouTube and there was a new layout change, all that stuff. Uh, not not a huge layout change, but well, actually pretty huge. But um, they actually added a lot of features, a lot of sharing options. Uh, basically, this one was more to give feedback to the viewer, the viewers, uh, you know, people who are posting the uh, video, and um, you know, give feedback to the, you know, the host of the video. Anyways, so first off, if you're at the new YouTube page, uh, the layout looks pretty, this, pretty much the same, which is that you see a lot of highlights were taken away. Uh, they, they, you know, glossed up some of the buttons a little bit. The, Active sharing buttons a little glossier now, and you have in that account arrow, like when you go over the account, if you hover over the button, the drop the drop down menu will come down to my videos, favorites, subscriptions, contacts, and more. I like that better, and I'll give you I'll give you my opinions throughout it all. And, uh, feel free to send your feedback to me at my email at kidagurucenter at gmail.com or leave a comment how you like the new layout, and even a video response if you like. Anyways, uh, you also notice the new tab called Quick List. If you know what a Quick List is. If you go to a video, you'll see in the bottom left corner a little plus sign. And if you click that, it'll add it to your quick list. That way, you can watch videos if you know. Uh, if you need to watch a whole bunch of videos, you can add them to your quick list so you can watch them right on the go. And you can have the tab up there to see how many you have in your quick list. So let me just show, uh, and other new features now. If you go down to my videos and you go into your videos, I have YouTube open up right here. You notice a couple of new stuff now. If you instead of saying about my video, it says insight now. So if you that's a new feature that YouTube released called YouTube Insight. Basically, this gives a lot of this gives a response to the viewers or um, the host showing how their how how popular the video is, discovery and views, stuff like that through graphs. It shows them how their views went up and you know how you know it went it went along. Uh, other video uh, you might have seen this if you've uh, seen Rever. Rever has actually some uh, Rever um, has a a type of thing like a graph, but what YouTube add is a map showing you how where where your viewers are coming from. Like right now, mine are coming from uh, more of Alaska. The view count. Let me show you the view count here. So let me just see. It shows a graph that you can scroll through. It shows how you know how how your view representation goes throughout the months, the days, whatever. And this is you know just for if you want to know. Uh, it's good for a lot of business people and like all people who want to drive traffic to their site or whatever because. They added a, a new sharing option where you can, you know, put it to MySpace, Facebook, all this stuff, uh, and it lets you know which site is getting most. It's it's kind of like the links thing. What site? It's showing you what site is getting more traffic. So you may get be getting 2,000 views on MySpace, but only 100 views on Facebook. Then you know you can concentrate more on MySpace or Facebook, so you can get a higher rating. Whatever your, you know, whatever your prerogative is. But this shows a lot of uh, options uh, to you. It shows a lot of options when uh, you know when you're posting a video because you can check out the popularity, where most of your views are coming from, what country your views are coming from, and it also shows a uh, discovery thing, which shows you uh, wh actually where your video is being watched, whether it be on YouTube or it may be an embed player or a related video. So uh, you know how your video may show up in a related video sometimes. It shows are you get where your where your views are coming from, if they're coming from related videos, if they're coming from YouTube, if they're coming from a uh, player that you embedded on your site, like my my videos are coming from 94% uh, of YouTube or other, and related videos are coming from 2.9% and 2.9% for embedded player. So that just you know shows you a good uh, representation. Has a whole bunch of graphs. So YouTube Insights is a really cool new feature that you should check out. Uh, other stuff that they added when you go to your videos now, you see uh, they change a little some stuff around like the highlights for the the skin for the uh, video info and all that stuff, it sh you can customize your embed player, that's already been there for a while. Your view owner options is a little glossier there. There are more info buttons on the top of the thing now. The, all the uh, tags now are clickable. Oh. You, know, you just you, you notice it's a little glossier now. Uh, moving down, you see a big difference within the comments are a little smaller now. Uh, you have options of Cool thing I like with this with this layout. A lot of people say it's too, you know, they squish it too much. Well, I say they if they close the comments in a little bit more, it might look a little neater if they like, uh, you know. Uh, but the thing that they allow you to do, which you guys have to realize, is that you can close and open the comments like a drop down arrow. If you if you don't want the comments to show, you can do that the same with the video responses. It has statistics and data commentary. I like how they put stuff in tabs, but 
if you may, maybe they uh, they should make I think they should make the tabs a little smaller on the on YouTube as you see the like where it says commentary and statistics of data on a video if you scroll down they're gonna like, make those a little smaller maybe the text not so bold you know uh, a lot of people have just been arguing that it's too big it's too uh, you know it's too clunky well I say if you know if they minimize space the layout's actually really nice because they give you a lot of options to you know open and down open and close all these tabs and stuff like that to make it a nice neat layout. They, so if in statistics and data you get your honors for that video, uh, like I happen to have an honor here, 96 top favorited today for how to style. Uh, it shows you external links where it's being linked to. It's being linked to my blog spot, obviously. And that's because um, I recently, uh, they also have a feature where you can uh, link it with your blog spot showing how many clicks you got from there. You can all set that up, I think, in your account. Something like you, you can set it up both Blogger, WordPress, and all these other ones. So that's a really cool feature that it's set up with blogging. And what else has it set up here? Well, the sharing options. If you click more sharing options now, you have a chance. You have a choice of emailing it, MySpace, Delicious. Uh, you can post it to other aggregating services like Dig, Reddit, uh, Mix, Live Spaces, Stumble Upon, Delicious, or for F U R L. So you have a lot of new aggregating services. You can post it to your blog. Uh, that's it's, that goes along with uh, setting it up to your uh, blog spot. Now, if you set if you set your account up with your blog spot or your WordPress, you can easily submit it now just to your blog with a video title. Oh, I'm pretty sure I'll post it with a video, the title, the text, and you can have multiple blogs set up with it. So I write for the John for Lakers blog and my own blog, so it's really easy to navigate and set up. And you can also even send messages now to all contacts. Now, there's only one thing I didn't see that. This is also if you hit the sharing options. You can send it to all contacts or all friends. It has a little drop down list. It has messages. Now, the only thing uh, which I didn't see for this was that if you go to your messages and try to compose a message, they still don't have the option to send a message to everybody, but they have the option to, uh, you know, in, in the sharing videos, you can send it to everybody, but for some reason, you still can't send multiple messages in a uh, private messaging but I guess you know they have to filter that still and they're still working that out so altogether I love the new layout they have a lot of new options uh, that's just my opinion I want to hear your opinion guys feel free to do video response comment or email me uh, everything else is nice I think they should just you know tone down the text a little bit uh, the size of the boxes and tabs maybe just a little bit uh, you know it is um, a lot of people don't like it. A lot of people do like it. I like it. A lot of features that they added are really great. YouTube Insights is a really great feature. But guys, you just give them some time. Guys, you're doing the best they can, and uh, you know I can't complain with YouTube. The only thing now that really I'm looking forward to is 10 minute limit passing up. That's like the only feature I'm really looking forward to, guys. Anyways, guys, uh, you know if you love it, send your feedback to YouTube if you want. You can scroll down and it says uh, under help and info, I believe. It, or no, no, under YouTube and help it says you can go to a uh, contact and you can send feedback from there whatever you want to do. Anyways guys, I think the layout's actually really nice. Uh, I think they should just, you know, minimize some space a little bit, uh, tone down the text. But yeah guys, uh, anyways, I would love to hear your feedback. Email me or leave a comment. Or you can do a video response. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.